Morning, ladies and gentlemen, Bird of Worry here, trusting that you are doing well, my sister, my brother. So how is it in your neighborhood? Right now, it's, uh, I assume it's getting a little bit on the warm side, but it's a beautiful day, and you can hear the squirrel up in the tree. Um, this is a black walnut tree, and um, oh, he or she's up there eating one of the nuts from off the black walnut tree so that's what's going on here so may i ask you did you take time out to study remember you must study we must we must study and we know it is so late on planet earth and the solution is jesus christ and this is steps to christ and you see he is stepping this is a new cover and this is the same as this one look same information just a different cover different cover and so he state, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but should have everlasting life. And that is John 3, 16. Let us go ahead and bow for prayer. Father God, I thank you, Father God, for this beautiful day, Father God. Right now, Father God, I ask you that you will decrease me, Father God, so that you will be increased. Allow your Holy Spirit, Father God, to take full control. I thank you. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Okay, scripture reading is coming from Genesis uh, chapter 6, verses 8. Genesis chapter 6, verses 8. And Aiko is sitting over there and she's listening. Okay, so we have Genesis 6, verses 8. But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Mm. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, hearing, and the doing of his words. Okay, so let's get into our topic. And we are, our topic today is about Noah. Noah. It said, those who live in the days of Noah and Abraham were more like the angels in form, in their comeliness and strength. But every generation has been growing weaker. And if you have the book Spirit, uh, Spiritual Gift, Volume 1, uh, page 69. More than 100 years before the flood, the Lord sent an angel to faithful Noah, to make known to him that he would no longer have mercy upon the corrupt race, but he would not have them ignorance of his design. He would instruct Noah and made him a faithful preacher to warn the world of its coming destruction, that, in, that the inhabitants of the earth might be left without excuse. Let me, let me read that that the inhabitants of the earth might be left without excuse. Angels were sent to collect from the forest and fields the beast which God had created. And if you have the book, Spirit, uh, The Spirit of Prophecy, volume 1, pages 69 through seven, 69, and it says 72. Angels went before these animals, and they followed two and two, male and female and clean beasts by seven. And then if you have a uh, spiritual gift, uh, volume three, pages six to seven, because mo most time when you hear a uh, children's story or children's song, they talked about, they came in two by two, you know the song, I don't remember it, all, all, for, all for words, they said, but they come in two by two, but they forget that the unclean came in two by two. However, the clean animals, came in seven by seven, okay? Because remember, after the flood, they had to make sacrifices and stuff like that. Let me continue. Everything was now ready for the closing of the ark, which could not have been done by Noah from within. An angel is seen by the scarfing, meaning the mocking multitude, descending from heaven, clothed with brightness like the lightning. He closed that massive outer door and then takes his course upward to heaven again. And if you have the book, um, The Spirit of Prophecy, Volume 1, pages 7 to 2. So that concludes my topic, Noah. Noah. So we know that Noah was a faithful man and he was a faithful preacher that he had his mission was to warn the world right of the coming destruction so just like us today we as believers as ambassadors for christ we are placed here to warn the world of the destruction that will take place and we warning them for them to make a decision 
to accept Jesus as their personal savior and to run from sin. So that is the warning message that we need to proclaim. We are in the judgment hour, okay? Probation, we on probation. Probation is getting ready to close. And as children of God, we need to make sure that we are standing on the promises of God and we are standing on the right team. How can we do that? Yes, we have faults with one another. So we state that if we have someone, if your brother sinned, uh, or you know that your brother have done something, you need to put your gift down and then go to your brother, get it right, and then come and offer your gift to the Lord. So we need to confess our faults to one another, but we confess our sins only to God. Why? Because he's the only one that can forgive us. Now, if you go to the priest or to the pastor or to the bishop and all these people, come on now. They cannot do anything for you, my sister and brother. It's best for you to pray for yourself because you don't know what those individuals are going through in their life. You don't know what sins that they're holding on to that if you ask them to pray for you, their prayer might not be uh, answered because of the things that they're holding on to. So it's best for each one of us to be praying for ourselves that the Lord will intervene on our behalf. So that concludes my topic, Noah. So on tomorrow, we're going into the flood comes. The flood comes. That will be the topic for tomorrow. So may I share with you my devotion? Hold on. Okay, so let's see. Let me put this back over here. Oh, my basket. I'm losing my basket. Hold on. Here we go. And this is depart from the fog as a spectacism. And they say, take unto you the whole armor of God that ye may be able to withstand in the evil days and having done all to stand. And you can find this in Ephesians uh, 6 verses 13. Let us bow for prayer. Father God, I ask you, Father God, to continue to take full control, Father God. I thank you, Father God, in Jesus' name, amen and amen. And it says, Satan is making every effort to bring in spiritualistic, uh, and it says, um, sophistry, meaning deceptions, meaning trickery, to throw his deceptions over mine. Now is the time of every follower of Christ to be clothed with the whole armor of God and to fight manfully against the encroachments of the power of darkness, that means the intrusion. Let no, no, me say, no, go back. Let not our soldiers be found asleep at their post. The world is to be warned. Let me be that. Let not our soldiers be found asleep at their post. The world is to be warned. There are strong men, precious in the sight of God, who are under a spell. They do not realize that they are represented by, a, by the foolish version. Scientific, spiritualistic philosophy has taken the mind of some from the message to be proclaimed at this time. So if you think about, um, go to, uh, I have my, in my notes, uh, Samuel. Uh, I believe it's 1 Samuel, I believe, uh, 28 verses uh, th uh, verses 3 to 25, when we see uh, King Saul going to the, to the witch, okay? And so when we think about spiritualism, so let me go back. When we think about sp uh, spiritualistic uh, philosophy, we're talking about someone who believes that they can talk to the dead, to the, to the dead, that the living can talk to the dead, okay? That's spiritual, uh, that spiritualism, and that is not from God. It's, and it goes on to state. Let me go on. Let me let me comp let me uh, repeat that. Scientific um, spiritualistic philosophy has taken the mind of some from the message to be proclaimed at this time. There are those who live merely to criticize. They have been associating with those who have learned from the great deceiver. Their hearts bear the sin of the serpent, and they are prepared to enter upon a campaign of unbelief. 
Those who have fallen asleep at the post are now to be awakened and trim their lamps. They are to, they are to entertain not a fragment of doubt as to the truth for this time. And it goes on to say that, let me go, lost my place. And it said, the hypnosis of Satan, or meaning, or we could also say auto suggestion. So uh, the hypnosis of Satan must be shown in its true bearing. We are not to turn one step towards Egypt, but towards Canaan, the land of promise. The Lord said to me, I have strengthened you to bear a message of, let me go back. I have strengthened you to bear a message for this time. Wake up the men who have been receiving um, a philosophy. No, let me, go, let, me go, let me go back here. Who has been receiving the, the trickery or the deception, sophistry. So let me go back here. Father God, I ask you, Father God, to take full control. I thank you in Jesus' name, amen and amen. So it says here, wake up the men who have been receiving sophistry, meaning trickery and deception. They are asleep as to their great importance of the present time and the danger of the future. Some who in the past have been a genuine experience will awake. Let me go repeat. Those who in the past have had a genuine experience will awake because their lives have not been a constant constant contradiction of truth. Our thoughts, our motives, our desire are to brought are to be brought into obedience to the will of God. Let me repeat that. Our thoughts, our motives, our desires are to be brought into obedience to the will of God. They are to be inspired and controlled by him. We are to ask ourselves, am I exerting all my, my capability to keep my lamp filled with oil and carefully trimmed that from it may shine brightly and clearly the light of present truth? Let me repeat the question. Let me drink some water. Hold on. Am I exerting all the capabilities to keep my lamp filled with oil and carefully trimmed that form that from it may shine brightly and clearly the light of present truth? Pres present truth is the message for today. Um, and it says, I am awakened. Uh, I say, am I awakened the world to its danger? Am I leading perishing souls to Christ? Am I arousing men to see that the end of all things is at hand? Let me repeat this. Am I awakening the world to its danger? Am I leading perishing souls to Christ? Am I arousing men to see that the end of all things is at hand? Those who are represented by the wise virgin, virgin those who in the past have had a precious experience in the truth, are now to arouse and trim their lamps. Let those who have listened to, to sophistry, meaning the trickery, now cut every vintage, may every fragment of this out of their experience. Do not allow your time to be taken up in this in discussion regarding these sophistry. Do not remain in the fog of skepticism until it is too late for you to find your bearing. Entire consecration to God put to an end all vanity, foolish supposition, and imagination. Let me repeat that. Entire consecration to God puts to an end all vain, foolish supposition, meaning... Um, belief or theory and imagination so this was a message that she um, presented in uh, August 24th 
1904 and it says arise trim and arise and trim your lamps so if you think about this my sister and brother they said depart from the fog of skepticism meaning from uh, depart from the fog of doubt okay so this was message that she preached was let me see it was 117 years ago can you imagine 117 years ago that she preached this and how long did noah preach noah preached for 120 years so she has this message 117 years okay 117 years okay noah preached for 120 years so if you th think about those two numbers it's just three years three years short of what noah did 120 years so what does that mean my sister and brother it means that we need to go into our bibles confess our sin forsake our sin and ask the lord to give us the strength and the power to do what is pleasing what is acceptable in his sight because the world or some Chris or some Christian people are going one way, but then you know, sometimes we kind of say Christian. But remember, you can be a member in the church, in the church, but not a member of the kingdom of God. And if you look right now, what's going on in the world? There's a distinction between it's like a it's like a big um, division is going on with the two with two groups. So you could you got the whirling on one hand, and you got the individuals that are Christian, and you could see the separation that's going on, my sister and brother. So we gotta be very mindful and continue to ask my question. Is it me, is it me, oh Lord, that's standing in the need of prayer? It's not my mother, it's not my brother, it's not my sister, but it's me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. So we as individuals have to con constantly examine our motive, examine our heart to make sure that we are standing on the promises of, of the Lord. Yes, like I say, we Christians, we fall down, we make our mistakes, but God is merciful, okay? He knows that we are, you know, humans. We, we, we like to go to the flesh. We love the flesh. So we like, so he knows that we have weakness in all these different areas, but he has also made a way for us to escape right he knows that we some of us has uh, generational curses on us but he also provide a solution for all that all we have to do is standing on the promises of God claim his promises my sister and brother believe the word of God regardless of whatever else going on you and I have to remain faithful e even though we might fall down but we don't stay down we get back up we get it we get it right with individual and but then we come to god and we confess to god and so that's why when uh when i state that we are, can be holy people that we must be 20 be holy people 24 7. the only way we can do that my sister and brother that we have to be examining our hearts our motive moment by moment and if we have done anything that was not pleasing in God's sight, we have to go right to him and say Lord forgive me forgive me for father God I did not mean to do that you know just father God I you know just go to him and ask him just like you would a friend you know girl I'm sorry I shouldn't have said that to you you know what I I need to do better you know Lord give me the strength give me the power to you know that is how he is our friend and you know what he is such a good friend that when we tell him our our secrets he keeps it to himself and he does not share it with anyone right so we have to be very mindful my sister and brother god has given us everything in order to save us so if we missed out on heaven it will be because of what we decided to do not what my mother my brother sister or my pastor any one of those ones or my husband decide to do each one of us has to give an account for what we do moment by moment okay we each one each one each one so i cannot point the finger at you because look there's a finger pointing back at me but what i can do though is come and say sister you know what we need to do better in this area well brother you know you know but then you know i usually lead deal with women and the, the men deal with men because you know it's kind of a touchy situation there right 
So as, as a medical missionary, as ambassadors for Christ, we have to be very mindful of what we do, when we do it, to whom we do it, right? And so we have to be mindful in every area, my sister and brother. So I pray that you have made your calling and election sure standing on the winning team, okay? That's, I mean, if you think about it, that's all there is. That's all the Bible is about, a lot of stories about individuals that have fallen down, they got back up, some never never came back, okay? And some wait until the, until the 11th hour to, came to, to return back to God, but nevertheless, so we won't read the Bible, there's different stories in there, right? And the story is to, like, it's like an example for us, for us. So some of us just need to turn off the TV, my sister and brother, there's nothing good on the TV, there's nothing good in going to the movies, but besides, we should not, as Christians, we should not even be going to the movies because there's nothing pure, and there's nothing wholesome about about what's going on in the, in the, going into the movies or watching that stuff anyhow. So we gotta be very mindful of what we bring in because uh, as you behold, you become changed. So we gotta be mindful of what we are listening to, what we are reading, um, what we are watching, right? So here is my song. Yeah, yesterday I did the first verse, but today I'm going to go do all um, the whole uh, four verses. Okay, so here we go. All that thrills my soul. Who can cheer the heart like Jesus by his presence all divine? True and tender, pure and precious, Oh, how blessed to call him mine. All that trails my soul is Jesus is more than life to me. And the fairest of 10,000 in my blessed Lord I see. Love of Christ so freely given, grace of God beyond degree, mercy higher than the heaven, deeper than the deepest sea. All that trails my soul is Jesus is more than life to me. And the fairest of 10,000 in my blessed Lord I see. Every need his hand supplying, every good in him I see. On his strength divine relying, he is all in all to me. All that thrills my soul is Jesus, he's more than life to me. And the fairest of 10,000 in my blessed Lord I see. Here's the last verse. By the crystal flowing rivers, with the ransom I will sing, and forever and forever praise and glorify the King. All that trills my soul is Jesus, he's more than life to me, and the fairest of 10,000 in my blessed Lord I see. Let me repeat that. All that trills my soul is Jesus, he's more than life to me, and the fairest of 10,000 in my blessed Lord I see. All that trills my soul. I tell you, isn't that beautiful, my sister and brother? All that trills my soul is Jesus. I hope that is your prayer. All that trills your soul is Jesus, my sister and brother. With Jesus or without Jesus, where would we be? Without the mercy of the Lord, where would we be? Everything we have, everything we see is from the Lord. And we are only stewards of the blessing in order to help someone else, in order to minister to someone else. So let us continue to be, remain faithful until the end. Let us pray. Father God, I thank you, Father God, for this message, Father God. I thank you, Father God, that you did not leave me here by myself, Father God. If we have done anything that was not pleasing or acceptable in your sight, Father God, I ask you, Father God, that you forgive me. Forgive us, Father God, and cleanse us, Father God, and make us whiter than snow. Once you have cleansed us, Father God, we ask you, Father God, to take the empty vessels, fill us up with the love, with the power, with the peace, with the patience, with the power, Father God, to do what is pleasing in your sight. Father God, we give you all the praise, the honor, and glory. I thank you for my sister, my brother that stopped by here today, Father God. You know our individual needs, our individual shortcomings, Father God. And we thank you, Father God. Someone needs a financial a blessing. Someone's looking for healing. Someone has a relationship issue. Father God, we know that you have already provided a solution. And we forever thank you, Father God. We give you all the praise. We honor you, Father God. We worship you. We thank you, Father God. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. 
Okay, my sister and brother, so if this was a blessing to you, can you do me a favor? Can you hit the like button? Can you make a comment? What are you doing? What are you doing today? What scripture are you are, are reading? I was listening, uh, reading uh, Hebrews. Oh, my goodness. That's a powerful, uh, powerful book as well. Uh, Hebrews. So that was the book that I was um, studying. And then, um, am I, what, what am I doing today? So I am um, doing some more cleaning. And then I've got some other projects I'm working on. Uh, and then I'm washing, of course. I'm washing, I'm washing. It seems like I'm always washing. And so that's what I'm doing. So once you do that, comment. Uh, then you could hit the share button. Remember, sharing is caring. Then you can follow me over YouTube on the Burdell Warrior. While you're there, hit uh, the bell notification. Hit the subscribe button, 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 button. And thank you so much, my sister and brother, for going over there, over YouTube, and help me grow my YouTube channel. I love you. I appreciate you for taking the time out of your busy schedule to stop by here today. May God continue to overflow your cups. May he overflow your cup. Can you see the cup overflowing with blessings from all different where, from all different places? Blessings, blessings, blessings. Isn't God so good? He is so good. He is faithful. He is faithful. But before you go, one more thing. May I have a hug? Here we go. One, two, three. Thank you so much, my sister and brother. I love you, love you, love you. appreciate you. Until tomorrow, be blessed and take care. And tomorrow is about... Uh, the, the coming, the flood coming, let me see, the coming flood, yeah, the flood comes, the flood comes, that's our topic for tomorrow, until then, be blessed and take care.